Hello, hello again, boys and girls. Happy Saturday to you. This is Mrs. D coming to you once again with story time with Mrs. D. This story, because Easter is about to come up, I wanted to read this fun story to you all in hopes that you will one day add it to your library. It's called How to Catch the Easter Bunny from the New York Times bestselling author and illustrator, Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. And there's the cover, just in case you wanted to purchase it for your own private library. So let's get into this story about how to catch the Easter Bunny. I've been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We've made the eggs, and now I'm here to bring them all to you. My real name's a secret. My friends call me E.B. My special job means I must hide my true identity. Yes, I'm the Easter Bunny, and I'm coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you just might see me roam. <laughs> this first trap is quite simple, just carrots on a plate. I'm lightning fast. To catch me, you'll need some batter bait, better bait. A hole that's covered by a rug will never cause me strife. Have you forgotten what I am? Burrowing's my life. Now this is much more like it. A fully lit dance floor. I'll do a little hip hop, then dash behind the door. This next trap is quite clever, made by brilliant engineers, but it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. <laughs> you want to catch me for my eggs and magic basket too, but I've been hiding Easter treats since 1682. <laughs> This trap nearly gets me, but check out all my hops. Watch me dodge the flying fish and cherry yogurt pops. I switch my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. Your Easter spirit is so strong, you see me right away. I leave so many Easter treats, no children will be sad. But when they see that I've escaped, they'll all be hopping mad. The Bunny Tumbler 2.0 sure takes me for a spin, but I've got lucky rabbit's feet. I know I'll always win. With all the treats delivered to children big and small, I've got one special stop to make to my favorite kid of all. See you next year.
the end, boys and girls. And that was the story of how to catch the Easter Bunny. But you know what? They never caught them. So I hope you've enjoyed this Easter story from Mrs. D's story time. And until next time, we will see you again. Remember, read, read, read. Bye-bye now.